I want to talk about who is God over your life because he started um, as I'm on this journey to Jesus, he's starting, he started, not starting, he's been doing it, to reveal that I had several different gods in my life. And I'm like, wait, I'm holier than thou, God. Like, I'm doing this walk thing. Like, and there were gods, other gods in my life. First God that I didn't know that I was making a God in my life was Instagram and I realized the first thing I would do when I wake up was scroll and I had cut back a lot I had cut back a lot on Instagram because I knew it was a God in my life I knew I couldn't live without it that was my first God second God selfies And this, this inability to just look enough, good enough for faith, for Instagram. Like, you know, when you take, I was that girl taking like three, like, no, not 300, but at least 50 photos and analyzing them and still seeing ugliness. Because most of us, we take mad photos and we analyze them and then we just it's never good enough and then we end up settling on all right though this will just have to do and it's just like brianna i made your face perfect i don't care if you have a stitch of makeup on or you do have makeup on i made you perfect so if you take that's what you look like you took that image and that's what you look like, Brianna. Why are you running from what you look like? And oh my gosh, like what else, God? All right, because you, you just in your feelings this morning. So like, what other idols? And he said, being perfect. Ooh, he got my whole life together and I started I'm like what you mean being perfect like you said be a good steward and you no 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 <laughs> being perfect and then I started to reflect and I want you guys to get what I'm saying when you're on your journey to Jesus this is what's going to happen he's going to start to search you you not other people because you holier than foul so you need to stop doing ah, 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 ah. this is a this is a personal walk and he's going to start to search you. And so um, he said, being perfect is an idol in your life. And I started to think about it. And I, guys, I was God in my life. I was that girl with, and I'm saying this and sharing this because I have no shame at all. Sorry. I was that girl with a plan A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. And then if all of those plans that I decided to make fails, then God, you can, then you can have your way. Then you can come and help save me. And I'm like, God, but I thought you're supposed to be like perfect. And and I think it's understanding you will never, the Bible says, even on our most perfectest day, we still fall short of the glory of God. We still fall short. That means to me, you can never be perfect, Brianna. So why don't you let me lead instead of you? Why don't you follow me instead of you? And you have to be careful because whatever is going on in this world that's pushing this agenda that you are the creators. You are the creators. Don't ever let anyone tell you. Are, you create that. You don't create nothing. You don't create nothing. And the more I started learning about the occult and learning about all this stuff, I'm like, yo, demons can also actually help you accomplish whatever that thing is you're trying to accomplish, boo, not just God. And I was mortified at the thought of a demon helping my vision come to life. 
I mean, that's that's kind of crazy, right, guys? That's kind of crazy that, like, it may not be God. And so what I'm challenging you today is to look at the idols that are in your life. Another idol. And again, I don't mind putting myself out there because I know most, uh, like, there's other people who do the same thing. Another idol. My children. This is a touchy one. This is a touchy one. Because we're taught, like, oh my God, we're supposed to love our kids and they're our babies. And I love my little, my little lumpskins so much. But anything that distracts you, that, 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 that you can't focus because you, that's not, that could be an idol in your life. And I was so focused on giving them the best life again I was creating. I didn't ask God to lead me. I was just trying to do what and, and keep up with everybody else's Instagram page. And what's happening is it's like, yo, everybody is trying to catch up and keep up with everybody else's Instagram page, but nobody is bold enough to open their mouth to say, I need help. I don't have a clue what I'm doing. I cried myself to sleep last night before I beat this face down and smiled. And this is what happens when you chase idols. This is what happens. And I know because everyone is guilty of chasing idols. Another idol in my life, money. And I'm like, but God, I need money. Like, how am I going to make your thing work without money? I didn't ask you to make it work. I just asked you to trust me and walk with me. Jesus walked. You will never see a passage in the Bible that talks about Jesus running and grinding towards his ambition. Matter of fact, and I'm going, I need to get the scripture. Matter of fact, I'll leave a link down below or something where the scripture that actually talks about ambition is demonic what what because ambition says again you are a god you're gonna oh no you're gonna bust these doors down to open them for yourself that's what you're gonna do like god just asked you to walk with him and so today i want you to to challenge you to first highlight literally highlight where are the idols in my life? You'll be surprised at what the Holy Spirit will start to reveal. And when he begins to reveal, I challenge you, don't shrink back. Be okay with changing. Be okay with accepting. But if I let this idol go, God, what would people think of me? And when you start to really take your walk with Jesus seriously, you're going to realize, I don't care anymore what people think about me. And that's hard because I was that girl. If you said anything wrong to me, I would crumble. Crumble. I cared about what people thought about me. And now I don't because I realize I'm put on this earth to do something. And now I care about what God thinks about me because he's watching me. Everything I say, everything I do, how I'm leading people, I'm either going to lead people away from Christ or to him, period. And so I want to encourage you today, look at your idols, take a look. I will drop a, a, a link down below as just like a little plan on how to make sure how to see what idols are in your life and, and, and the steps to do to make sure you get rid of the idols. Do the work. You can do it. I can do it. I'm doing it. I'm doing the work and I'm so happy I am. I am literally experiencing heaven on earth doing the work on me. So that's it. Thank you. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.